Evil sons revel in the roar of engines and the pride of seeing ramshackle creations roar to murderous life. It should be of little wonder, therefore, that many evil sons embrace a space-going existence, plundering scraps of enemy vessels to make their own bigger and better. In this one view on match, we're going to be playing the orcs, and the orcs, much like Chaos, actually have unique sub-factions. So the evil sons, the goths, the uh, death skulls, the blood axes, the bad moon, uh, the bad moons, or is it bad moons? Yes. And the orc pirates all have unique abilities at level 10. So you can see here for the evil sons, the faction which we will be playing in this game, they have the red ones go faster. So the speed of the big red button, which is pretty much their equivalent of acceleration, it's not, you know, for example, if you're playing like the Imperium or Chaos, you can accelerate, you can turn it off. But with these guys, you smash that big red button and it doesn't like start right away. Sometimes it's a little bit random, but it just kicks on. It goes hard in the paint and it's very fun. And Orcs are a very close range faction. They have great boarding actions. Uh, they're just super shooty up close. They have good ramming capabilities. So pretty much every aspect of the Orc builds you want to be catching your opponent. So this one is pretty damn good, and I would definitely say pretty competitive. So the speed of the big red button is increased by 130%, and its rotation speed by 5 degrees per second. So this applies to all of the uh, fleet ships, so that should be pretty strong for us. On top of that, we're going to be going with the uh, shock, shock and zap, and uh, when an enemy ship is hit with the zap cannon, its current and maximum speed is reduced by 50% for 2 seconds. So again, you can see this applies to all of our ships with the Zap Cannon, and this is just going even further with catching our opponents and slowing them down and allowing us to really butter that bread. On top of that, we do have the Tractor Cannon. So this is a technical skill that's going to be on our flagship. It basically just kind of grabs them and pulls them in, and yeah, it's just, it's just working towards that overall strategy of just closing the distance and not being kited. On top of that, we do have the Stasis Bomb. So this teleports a bomb uh, to a distance of 13,500 units, uh, which I guess is relatively irrelevant. You'll, you'll see it in the game. And it basically just pins them in place, again, slowing our opponent's fleet. So as far as our build goes, let's go ahead and take a look. The build is going to be called Red is Fasta, and we're going to take a look at this, uh, this juicy, juicy orc fleet. So for our flagship, we have a bunch of these guys. These are the uh, Hamas Smackas, I believe is what they're called. They're battle cruisers, and they have pretty good shooting weapons. Heavy gun batteries, heavy gun batteries, light gun artillery, but more importantly, they have a mega zap cannon. So we have four of these ships, which are just constantly going to be zapping, shooting from the front, just getting close, slowing our opponents. We're going to be shooting torpedoes, hopefully, if I can remember, and just going fisticuffs and having a good old time. And one of my favorite things about the Orc fleet in general are the big rocks. Now, the mega rocks are a little bit expensive. It's kind of like getting that very expensive centerpiece in your army in uh, Warhammer 40,000 and just having it get shot to pieces or kited, unfortunately. So uh, we're not going to go with the mega rock. The big rocks are still really damn solid, super hard to kill. They have uh, zap cannon as well, so they can slow things. And if your opponent is another faction that wants to go fisticuffs, like so let's say they want to get close and just fight you and board you, the big rock is going to take them just apart. It is very, very good. We have this guy right here. I believe this is, uh, it's been a couple days since I played the orc, so I can't quite remember all of these, but I believe this is going to be another ramming ship. So is, is this the one with the ramming capabilities? I can't quite remember. No, that's right. I bring this one, the Basha, the Basha Erd Nki. I think is how you would say that, uh, because it has fighters. So if my opponent is going to be swarming me with fighters, I wanted to have one ship that I could just kind of uh, counter fight them with and just kind of buy some time. So we just have that guy. We have four brutes. So the brutes are actually ramming ships. So you can see here this tooltip, the spur, ramming damage inflicted by the ship is increased by 300% for escort ships and 50% uh, for line ships. So yeah, this one this one is really good. These guys just do more damage and ramming. And honestly, you can use them to grab objectives. And if you ram enemy escort ships, it'll pretty much one-shot them. It's very, very good. So uh, I think that's pretty much it. You guys saw the fleet. It's time to uh, to go for the greater Wah here. So we're going to have some fun. My apologies if my voice is a little bit suppressed. I'm actually at the uh, very, very tail end of a cold here. So Nurgle's blessings are upon us. And I was going to play Nurgle in, in kind of celebration of that. But unfortunately, I played so many Chaos games here on the channel, I figure you guys would want to see something a little bit different. And yes, my Nurgling Wookiee is behind me, grumbling uh, with approval. And yeah, Orcs are really fun. I mean, you I don't know how, I guess they're pretty competitive. I mean, when you play really high level like Eldar players and things like that, it can be pretty miserable because you can get kited, they target your engines, and then you're just like these haggard sitting floating rocks. But we're going to be playing the Navy which uh, can be a pretty shooty faction. So, I mean, sometimes the Navy will try and ram you and board you. The Navy is kind of like a Swiss army knife. It's like the Empire, for example, in, War in uh, Total War Warhammer. You can go with a very heavy greatsword build with like Warrior Priest. You can go very melee-centric with heavy cav, or you can play, you know, a very shooty build with crossbows and handgunners, very much like that in this game as well. And the backdrops of this game are so cool. I really like them quite a bit. But look at that big rock. Yeah, man, the, the Warhammer 40,000 universe is so cool. There's just so many like deep reaches of, of the uh, space that it just has so many creepy aesthetics to it. Anyways, uh, let's get our main fleet here. These are going to be our uh, our main ships, and we're going to go ahead and put them in, uh, just we'll put them in uh, lock-on for now, just to get that extra range with our zap cannons initially. And we're going to do that to turn on the, uh, okay, so we have an objective here, here, and here. So I think we're going to push up this side of the battlefield, just use our escorts to hold this one, and uh, hopefully it'll go well. Get the big rock in two. We'll get you over here as well, and uh, this guy can just kind of... And using you know, little attack ships definitely going to be good for protecting our fleet. 
And it looks like he's readied up already, so I don't know. Maybe he's uh, he's got some sneaky tactics I'm not aware of. And uh, we'll put you in two. Actually, I think we have to do it like that. And you guys can go here, and you guys can go here. All right, so um, we'll probably have our two little escort ships here, and we're going to put them in Brace for Impact because we're going to be ramming with them. And we'll go here. And we're just going to go like up to the top of the map and try ninja that back objective once he kind of loses interest in that. And these guys are all equipped. The rock is going to be in uh, lock-on as well. But once we get into close combat, it's really important to switch to reload, which I'll probably forget to do. And I always forget to use this tooltip. I know a couple of you guys have mentioned it in chat, which is the lock-on target. I think it's very important. So we're going to go ahead and toggle that. What it means is when you target an enemy ship, if you then move from there, it's going to keep shooting that same ship. It's not going to like drop that order. I feel like have fun. All right. And uh, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, and this guy can be in lock-on as well. And uh, we're going to be smashing that big red button. We're going to see if uh, it actually makes us go faster. And uh, yeah, let's do it to it. All right, so the main fleet, we're going to go ahead and push up here. And you can just go grab that objective. And the big rock can go up here as well. So I could use my acceleration right now, but it would reveal us, which uh, I don't know if I want that quite yet. I mean, these guys I don't mind because he can already probably see the blips anyway. So yeah, there's the big red button. We've been identified. We're going to go just like sit in the cloud and hope that he forgets about us. These two are going to grab this for now. And we will send one of these up the middle to go scout in a moment. So for now, uh, let's go ahead and take inventory of my opponent's fleet. He's sending out an auger probe right there, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he knows what's coming already. Uh, I guess the Imperial Navy, yeah, they have some pretty good long range like capabilities with like uh, the Nova cannons and things like that. Or is that the Mechanicus? I always get those two confused. Anyways, <clears throat> we could send the fighter squadrons up here to kind of see what's going on, but it looks like he's going pretty aggressive as well. And he's got some big old ships, but honestly, I really do want to go close quarters combat. And if he stays like pretty like like tight like that, um, I don't mind just, yeah, just charging him, using torpedoes, getting that big rock up there. The big rock's really slow, so sometimes it's good to just use the uh, the big red button to get that thing going. And uh, let's get you going up here as well. And this guy can stay here, and these two are going to now stealth. And after a minute, we'll give it a little bit of time, we'll back push for that other objective over there. So he's got his fleet, he's shooting torpedoes at us as well. Orc ships are not very maneuverable, so it's going to be a little bit tricky to kind of stop those. And uh, we could send some fighters to try and intercept those torpedoes, which I think would be fine. So let's go ahead and send them over here. I don't know if they're going to get there in time, but they might. Uh, the big rock is going to be able to dodge those. This guy can go right here. And it looks like he's, yeah, if we just Tokyo drift right out of the back of that. And this guy can go right here. And I don't think the fighters are going to make it in time, unfortunately. So hopefully the turrets can start shooting. And good. These guys have caught this. Let's go ahead and just get you parked right here, getting ready to ram. And hopefully the uh, the guns on our ship can kind of just blow those guys up. Come on. Uh. <laughs> All right. We were able to dodge those. It looks like he's going to be sending some fighters as well. So yeah, the fighters we didn't necessarily need to send out, but it's really not the end of the world. So now we're going to kind of accelerate those guys in the back, pop that big red button, and we're going to be going into reload stance, which is going to be pretty important just to get that extra shootiness going. This guy's got this objective, so let's get him going up the back here. And yeah, let's close the distance. So as far as ships go, we're going to kind of uh, target this guy, I think. I think that's going to be our go-to for now, just kind of get that good focus fire, get the big red button going. And yeah, just close that distance. We need to go just get fisticuffs. And do we have the torpedoes? We do. We're just going to shoot a big barrage of torpedoes and hope we hit something. I mean, eventually, it hopefully will catch up with the ships. He's going to try and broad, probably broadside us, but yeah, we're going to focus this ship down. We'll get some boarding on this ship right here. We'll get you going up here, and you can go ahead and uh, get some boarding as well in just a moment. All right, so the shooting's underway. Um, we have this stasis bomb, so let's go ahead and drop this right here. See if we can... Oh, no, that was a mistake. Misclick. I hate when that happens. It's so damn annoying. Anyways, uh, we're going to line up some torpedoes right here, get these guys shooting, and just kind of keep working on the ship right here. I don't want to board this one because that's the one we're trying to shoot down, so I'm probably going to focus on boarding the top one. Let's get you going right here. We got some boarding right there. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Um, this one shoots torpedoes pretty much in like random directions. And yeah, we've done some pretty good damage to this one. Do some emergency repairs right there. We have a good stasis. These ships, we need to go up here and grab this. And the wall is here. I think it's time to just get in there with the rock and ram. So <laughs> can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> All right, we're going in. Uh, torpedoes, let's go ahead and see if we can line those guys up right here. We're going to keep focusing the ship down if we can. And yeah, screw it. Let's just be orcs. Let's just shoot torpedoes and have some fun. And uh, we could drop some boarding actions on this ship right here if we want to. Great. So let's go ahead and turn these guys around. We're going to do some emergency repairs on these ships to get rid of the fires. And this one I don't think can. But yeah, the big rock, we want to just go and ram the ship if we can. And we want to go for bracer impact. I think it's time. I think it's time. Yeah. So we're going to kind of keep shooting the ship if we can. Let's go ahead and do this. We don't have any like high speed turns or whatever, but okay. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You guys ready for this? You ready for the space jam? Come on. And <laughs> come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. Oh, we took that ship out so hard. All right, so now I don't mind getting a little bit messy. That's kind of how the orcs want to be playing anyway. So let's just shoot torpedoes in random directions. And uh, which one were we boarding? We were boarding this one. And uh, do we need to do emergency repairs? This is the only one that's a little bit questionable here. So let's go ahead and put him there and do emergency repairs right here as well. Just try and fix up everything that we can. We're getting in there pretty good. And this one is actually almost down, but we're going to keep boarding that same ship. You want to focus your boarding efforts to the best of your abilities. 
And yeah, so let's focus this guy, and uh, yeah, we're doing some pretty good damage. I mean, he's getting in there and going fisticuffs with us, which is really, really dangerous against the orcs. Yeah, it's like that. the orc trailer has like one of the coolest kind of portrayals of that. So, oh yeah, big rocks coming in for the ram, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's glorious. All right. So we're just kind of getting in there and just just grinding it out to execute the uh, the traders here. Make sure these guys are actually grabbing objectives instead of just just jolly ramming uh, our opponent stuff. And you can go up there and grab that objective. And let's go ahead and send some uh, fighters over here if we can. Great. So boarding actions. I mean, this one's almost dead, so I don't want to waste boarding actions on it. And uh, yeah, it's gonna, we need to execute. Orc leadership definitely is a little bit sketchy. Uh, let's execute our, uh, our our dudes there who are causing some problems and uh, start focusing the ship down. All right, great. So yeah, come on, let's just get in there, ram that ship. Come on, finish it, finish it. All right, great. So this one's mutinied. Um, let's go ahead and start focusing this guy down if we can. And I don't think we're gonna be able to get this one back. How's the big rock doing? We have the stasis bomb. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop that right there. And for some reason it gave us two charges of the stasis bomb. Maybe I accidentally like set my flagship to one that couldn't like use the other ability, which is a little bit annoying. So we'll drop the other stasis bomb over here. It's kind of like bugging out for some reason. And uh, that one has been hulked, unfortunately. We'll execute our uh, our deal over here. And I think we got to go for the leadership, the, the rally, the command ability, which is going to help us regain some of these ships. Unfortunately, they're not in the best shape. But we're going in. We're going to brace for impact. And come on, get in there. Oh, oh the stasis bomb slowed us down. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a boarding action here in a second. We're going to kind of turn and go broadside. And this one, yeah, we need to get you over here, actually, I think, to uh, regain our ships. So let's do this. Oh, no, that ship got basically got scuttled. Okay, so let's execute the captives here. Get this guy back if we can. Start shooting. And, uh, man, we have a lot of ships. We're actually in a little bit of trouble here. <laughs> this turned into a, quite a pit fight. All right, so let's get you. And can we get that big red button off? It's going to it's gonna get destroyed here in a second, unfortunately. Got to get some torpedoes lined up if we can. And torpedoes. And, yes. Oh, yeah, we're going in hot. We're going in hot. He's going to get the, two, the old two for one. Brace for impact. Oh, yes. That was so awesome. Okay, so he has one ship left. And we have a bunch of, like, little escort ships that can definitely do some work. So it's it's time. It's time to send a message from the Orc peoples to the Imperium. All right, here we go. Oh, we just get there. That was so not worth it, but it almost tanked his leadership. All right, so let's get you down here. No mercy. We have to go in and just ram with all of them. His leadership's actually really low. Um, so let's go ahead and do a scan and reveal him. And this guy's going to come down here and do uh, just yeah, just do assault, I guess. I mean, we could do this one. This one is... Uh, I think we need to work on the turrets first if we're going to try that. His leadership's really low, so I think if we get in there and ram him, just head on. I know the armor's probably weaker from the sides, uh, but you know, I'm, I don't have the time to maneuver this. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. We mutinied need the ship. Oh, but it looks like he was able to get it back somehow. Okay. So we're going to get down there. We're going to try and do this. We're going to bring these two ships as well. Try and finish them off. I mean, we have the massive advantage on objectives. So we could easily just sit and camp. But that's not what orcs would do anyways. Orcs would get in there and want to go. And it kind of felt like I was just kind of spamming random buttons. But we got some decent boarding actions. We, uh, you know, had some focus fire on a couple ships. But honestly, it's really just the orky way to just ram things and play very chaotic battles. Yeah, we were able to come out relatively ahead. I mean, we still have, I don't know, as far as points, we probably have a relatively even amount. But at the same time, we dedicated less resources to the main fight. We were just kind of, uh, you know, grabbing the objectives around the map, whereas he sent his entire fleet in there. So it looks like he's going to be sending some fighters here. Are those fighters? Oh, yeah, those are probably going to be fighters. They're, they're going to intercept ours. And I would imagine they're probably better than what we're using. You can see this orc, these orc fighters here are probably just going to get trash canned really hard. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's actually a pretty even fight. So we could send another fighter squadron over here. These little ships coming in, um, we can put them in ugh, reload. Yeah, I think we got to actually shoot. I don't think we want to ram here. So let's go ahead and just get you kind of drifting away this direction, you this direction. And this guy's going to be smashing that big red button coming down here. And yeah, we have torpedoes, but I want to wait till I get closer. Uh, oh man, he did a ton of damage to these ships here. His, his, he's got some good decent shooting there. All right, so let's get you get like kind of up and off the map. Let's get you hiding in there. We're going in for the final fight, boys. Uh, we do have our fighters on him now, which is going to be useful. Let's get you coming in here now that our other ship is going to be occupying most of his uh, attention. And just to kind of ensure that we have the win, I'll keep one ship off to the uh, the backside there. So what uh, what shooting does the ship have? Yeah, it doesn't. Does it just really have a launch bay? I don't think it has any like traditional weapons, which is going to be a little bit tricky actually. Um, all right, so torpedoes are going to be away here in a moment, and he could accelerate away from him, so let's kind of lead him a little bit. And we could get some boarding as well. Um, so let's yeah, make him target priority. I guess we don't even need to do that. That's a little bit silly, isn't it? All right, so he's going to be uh, drifting away from us, and we could lightning strike him, but he does have his shields up, which means we can't. And he was able to avoid our torpedo, so I think we're going to come up and around the back and probably focus the deck for now. And yeah, he's getting some good shooting. I mean, we could come and ram here, 
let's get the boarding actions. I'll we'll get some of these guys going and get a boarding action. So these ones, I believe, do troop damage, which could potentially do some work. So yeah, we got some good boarding. Yeah, yeah, he's in a little bit of trouble. All right, so let's kind of uh, just do big red button and kind of swerve around him and get behind him because I think that's going to be a little bit harder for him to uh, do the trick. Definitely need to pay better attention to the leadership. It's been something I've been a little bit sloppy about in general. And I mean, I could ram him, but I think we just, you know what? We're orcs. Come on, come on. What am I? What am I talking about here? We got to ram him. That's just the way. That's just the way it goes. And that did some good damage. Now, I don't know if it was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it, for sure. All right, so now we just lined up some torpedoes. We could get some boarding torpedoes as well, but oh no, it looks like he damaged our weapons here. But yes, we got the repairs. And let's go ahead and do these. And these are boarding torpedoes, which I think will be pretty good. His uh, troop count's looking a little bit tattered there, so those should make some pretty square contact. Let's go for brace for impact. Oh, it looks like he might be able to get away. Yeah, he's going to get away. Should have let him a little bit more. All right, so we're still doing it to it. Uh, we don't, like I said, we don't really have too many... Uh, guns on the ship i don't think there's any as a matter of fact so i don't have the acceleration so i'm just gonna have to do a traditional ram hopefully it doesn't cause a mutiny so let's launch these fighters here let's get in there and ram and yeah we got the ramage both of us did a little bit of work it's a, it's a messy affair uh boarding action will come up in about 17 15 seconds yeah that's gonna be it and if we can get one more ram on him i'm pretty sure it'll be over um <laughs> gg for sure let's keep fighting it out though man come on this is fun all right so we're going in we're going in for the kill, baby. We're going in for the death thrust. Big red button. Oh, man. If I didn't have a, a raw throat, I would give you guys such a good wall right there. Oh, yeah. Board him, board him, board him. Oh, my God. <laughs> and we got that. We got the uh, the boarding torpedoes off as well. And now it's time. <clears throat> we have to line up for the uh, for the juicy torpedoes. So it's kind of a burn retros to make sure we stand still because there's like an effective distance with torpedoes you have to have. And uh, let's go ahead and shoot them. Let's have some fun. Here we go. And they're off. Oh, yeah. Glorious. Glorious. So, well played to my opponent. It was a very fun and ended up being a super close game. Uh, but, yeah, I love the orcs. They're such a fun fleet. I mean, I don't know. I got a little bit sloppy in that fight. I wasn't paying attention to leadership, but there were so many different things going on. You know, I was trying to, like, ram his back line with my, uh, my, my brutes. That's what's really cool about those orc brute ships. And I don't know why the tractor can. And, like, I just didn't have it on my ship. You guys saw I had the stasis bomb. Now, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe this ship can't take a tractor cannon or something, because this is my flagship. Maybe it's, maybe it has to be on one of these big ships. I have a feeling it's just not compatible with the ship for some reason. And perhaps some of you guys can let me know in chat. But anyways, you use the little brute ships to kind of ram the enemy escort ships, because it one-shots them, and you take, like, no damage from that. And from there, you basically just, uh, you know, chase them down with the zap cannons. But he wanted to go fisticuffs. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what his fleet looked like. I'm kind of curious. Uh, so he has this big ship with melted torpedoes. And these ones are just, uh, yeah, macro ships. They're close range macro ships. So he wanted to go close range and it worked. He killed our fleet pretty quick. We killed his back. It was just a messy, violent affair. So well played to my opponent. The, uh, the uh, I can't quite see his name. It keeps like, it's a very long name. But anyways, we'll call him Yella. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the showdown between the orcs or the evil sons in the Imperial Navy. And we will see you guys next time. Take care.